Hey guys, Mrs. Vance here. All right, so we've got our practice drawing and we've practiced our bugs and we've even spilled a little tea on them. It's okay, because it's my sketchbook. It's fine, it wasn't my final drawing. And uh, we have our final jar drawing. So today our goal is to basically, you know, decide if we were happy on our positioning of our bugs and what bugs we put in there and how many bugs we put in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put them in the jar. So we're kind of just repeating our steps, right? Because every good artist has to practice at least once before they kind of get the hang of something. So we always want to practice before we transfer to our final drawing. So I've got my pencil and my eraser, and um, I'm going to stick with the same bugs that I did last time. Um, I feel pretty confident in those. I did add a um, grasshopper, or did I add the ladybug? I forget which one I added after I finished the video. Um, but... We're all good now. So I am going to kind of check and see, do I want to change anything? And I do. I think I'm going to move my spider over to this side. So I'm going to add that string here. And I'm going to make my spider a little smaller today because um, I made him like this giant Amazon spider. And in Illinois, we don't really have spideys that are that big. So again, I am just using um, the tutorials that I sent to you, and you can use those. You can find your own, but we want them to be realistic. We don't want them to look cartoony. We want them to be pretty good, and they can, I mean, you can add eyes and things, but we want them to... Um, really kind of represent the correct anatomy of the bug itself. All right, so I'm adding the rest of my leg pieces here to finish up my spider. Okay, so what did I do wrong? Oh, I know what I did wrong. I was like, what looks different? I accidentally swung two legs to the back. These ones needed to be curved downward. And I'm sure you were yelling at your screen, Mrs. Vance, you made a mistake. But I caught it. I fixed it. All right. So my spider looks a little bit more appropriate in size now. Um, but that does mean that I have a little bit more space in my jar so I can maybe adjust the other size of other things. My bee is awfully big compared to my butterfly. So maybe I can make my butterfly a little larger so that my bee doesn't seem like it's, you know, again, some bee that was, you know, in a Marvel movie and got injected with serum that made it gigantic. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to put my butterfly over here and I'm going to start with the thorax, so the body part. And again, I'm making it bigger than I made it on my practice. My jar is also bigger, so that allows me to increase the size as well. My wing is going to hit the jar, and that's okay. We talked about that last time. And I'm trying to make my wings as symmetrical as I can. Okay, so then I would go back and add the patterns. I'm not going to have you watch me do all of the detail work because I do want you to have time to go and work on your own. Um, looks pretty good. I think I need to adjust my wing shape a little bit. I like my one in my practice drawing a little bit better. So I might want to go and work on that a little bit more later on. Okay. Um, so I'm going to switch sides. So before my caterpillar was over here, so I think I'm going to make him over on this side and I'm going to turn him again so that I can draw flat because it's hard for me to see it the other way. And this way my caterpillar is coming up the side instead of down the side this time. There we go. And then I need to add 
my little feet. Got a mouth and an eyeball. Two antennae. And then we've got some stripes. Perfect, so there is my caterpillar. Turn my paper back. His head needs to be a little rounder. There we go. All right, so I've got my caterpillar. I've got my butterfly, which needs some work, but I'll come back to it. Let's see, I've got my bee next. The bee was a little tricky. And again, I made him a little big the first time. So it almost like has three parts here. So I hope you chose some interesting bugs for your design. I'm so excited to see these. I think they're gonna be super exciting. I did add a couple more um, tutorials to the pack. I think I added a firefly and a praying mantis. So if you'd like to try to draw those this time, you can. You do not have to do the same one as same ones as your practice. All right, I've got arms here. Little antennas, and then we've got our eyeballs that are on the sides of our head. And then we can start adding our striping. And then we've got the veins in the wings. So that fine line detail on both sides. It almost is like tree branches. I think like what a leaf looks like on the inside. Okay, so there's my B, and let's see. So I've got room for my caterpillar, or sorry, my ladybug and my grasshopper. And maybe let's see, my ladybug I'll keep in the same spot. So remember, all of these bugs are sort of created by breaking down into simple shapes so don't be intimidated don't get nervous just do your best and use those tutorial paper sheets that go step by step to help you out or you could always ask your parents if you can go on youtube and watch some tutorials on there as well Okay, so there's my ladybug. And then I've got room. So because my jar is bigger and I only have my grasshopper left, I would consider thinking about adding one more bug or like duplicating a bug. And um, so I'm actually going to add another butterfly and I'm just gonna make a different kind and do something a little different. So the monarch kind of has rounded wings. I'm gonna give these ones a little bit more point. There's so many different species of butterflies with all those different color patterns that makes them so pretty. Did forget the antenna. So I think that looks nice and it's gonna help fill space too. And so now all I have left is that grasshopper and then I'll go back and add in my detail for my um, butterflies later on. All right, so I've got room. Let me get reorganized here. My grasshopper, I'm still gonna keep him on the side here. I did like how that was. He's got a lot of parts and pieces. So I definitely had to concentrate when I drew him 
to make sure that I had everything kind of in the right spot. And he's got those big legs. So those kind of go right here. And then we've got the front legs, the little guys. And then there's another leg set right there. And there's our eyeballs. I'm not going to add the smiley face this time because I think it looks too cartoony. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, so looking at our jar, you know, deciding did I fill up enough space? I think I did. So I'm going to go ahead and go add my detail to my um, butterflies. Hopefully you are filling your jar and you like everything that you've included. Have a great one, guys.